We have about a thousand other competitors here, but they're all on motorbikes. Let's see if we can beat them. Guys, right there. Let's go. My name is Patrick, welcome back to another video. Right now I'm in Hoi An, here for a couple of days, staying in this hostel with my friends. You might have seen in one of my previous Hoi An videos. Good morning guys. I stayed in this hostel called the Backpackers Hostel. It's very beautiful as you probably just saw in those drone shots. I'm now in the hostel dorm room, here with uh, Ben and Lynn. Hello. Say hi, Lynn. Lynn is too busy. What do you think of this hostel? Nice. Better than lovely hostel? Yes. yes. Careful, yeah, they might be watching this. I know. But <laughs> I like the staff. I love oh, your hostel. Oh, actually, Ben. Ben is the security. You job. Match. His name has changed yeah, from man. Ben to Bo. Ben to Bo. Bo. Yeah, Bo. Bo. <laughs> Give you guys a tour around Bo. the dorm. There we go, Bo. Busy Lynn. Yeah. <laughs> it's messy. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm. I'm showing all the dirty clothes. Oh, dirty clothes, basically. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming. <laughs> <laughs> it's messy. We like to keep it dirty and messy. And he's sleeping. Let's say hello. <laughs> <laughs> Can you start recording? Oh. Hello. Is it recording? Is hello, Powerful Patrick. We're going to Lobo Cafe. You need to somehow direct and film at the same time. Got it. Well, we have head on collision. How do you feel about this cafe? Well, I haven't seen it yet, so how, how can I know? But ba based off the photos, it, it looks good, very comfortable. Good. Yeah. Hopefully air-conditioned. We hope so. What's your expectation? I don't think they can hear me right now. I I think they can. Don't underestimate their hearing potential. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. In Hoi An, they have a lot of uh, small cafes with wooden yeah. chairs, but uh, we're hoping that this will be a nicer, upper-scale cafe. <laughs> Are we getting banh mi? I, I was thinking of just getting banh mi full. But okay. it, if you want to get something else, we can... I think I'm gonna bun me Okla from outside because there's better value. Alright, we're gonna get bun me. Bye bye! Bun me time! We're now in Finmart. What are you guys getting? Cafe is called Logo Cafe. It's very nice. It's quite hot though. Not much air conditioning. Well, wow. uh, we have the first drama of the day: uh, spillage. And right here, I got a banh mi fung, one of the most famous banh mi in Hoi An. It's a banh mi che with some avocado and tofu, which Lean is now stealing. I'm your assistant. Lynn still the bad me. I'm a, your assistant. If I changed everything, the way I walk, the way I breathe, will my face shift into the night? All right, it's now about a week later, and I'm back in Da Nang. And right now, I'm going to make a smoothie, and let me show you what I'm putting in this smoothie. All right, so I will be adding. Three frozen bananas, one dragon fruit, some peanut butter, one passion fruit, some beetroot, which I cooked last night, and some cashews. And then after I make this smoothie, I'm gonna to go to meet my friends at a cafe to do some work. And then later I'll talk about Hoi An versus Da Nang.
I actually just sold my motorbike. It's a long story I'll get onto it later. So because of that, now I'm waiting for a grab driver to take me to the cafe and then I'll meet my friends and I'll do some work there. Hello. Hello. Uh, uh, yes, Patrick. Uh, thank you. Hello Ben! Welcome to the vlog! Yes. How are you doing today? I'm good. Yeah, my first time here, I like this place. Wow, so, so spacious. It's really quiet. Delivery right here. You do? Wow. <laughs> Alright, can you demonstrate for us? I think you should go first. <laughs> right. put the I'm going in. in. <laughs> this video is actually continuing on from the Hoi Han. One. Really? Because I kind of changed it. Okay. The Hoi An video was going to be about the purpose of life. I'm considering trying daily vlogs for like a week. Daily vlogs? Isn't that what you were doing before? By daily, I mean like do one every day. See, so yeah, I'm really impressed with this cafe. It's so spacious. It's got a pineapple juice. Always happy to get it in a glass, like a glass cup, not plastic. Now we're going to talk about which is better, Hoi An or Da Nang. Since this video started in Hoi An, and originally it was going to be about the purpose of life, I'm considering experimenting with daily vlogs. So now this is kind of like a daily vlog. Now I'm going to ask Ben and get it, get his opinion. Which city is better? Are you ready? <laughs> All right. Which city is better? Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> I think that there are pros and cons to both cities. I would say that Hoi An is best for its nature. It's really great for cycling. It's got a lot of rice paddies and um, a lot of outdoor cafes which I really enjoy. However, uh, Da Nang has better, a better work environment. There are a lot of cafes here with AC. I think it depends what you're looking for. For me, I, because I enjoy working from the cafe every single day, I think Da Nang is better for me. What do you think? Yeah, if you've been to the cities, comment below the pros and cons of each one. And uh, personally, I think I feel the same way. And definitely a lot more rice fields, nature. It has more of like a small town feel rather than the big city feel like Da Nang. Like Ben was saying, there's way more cafes, probably more, more gyms, more things, more restaurants. So yeah, they both have their pros and cons. Mm. Oh, another baby. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Okay. We're going to uh, eat. All right, we just finished working at working at that coffee shop. Now we're going to get lunch. Uh, I miss having my motorbike. Still waiting for you to get to the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're now at a, a one Che getting lunch, and we both got a Kerm Tum, which is broken rice. Both of them, you know, both the same. <laughs> <laughs> uh, after this, we'll give it a rating out of 10. But what's your initial visual rating based on uh, uh, aesthetics? Probably 8 of 10. Yeah, I'll give it a solid 8.5 aesthetic rating. And the tofu is aesthetic rating, I'll give about 10 out of 10. They just gave us a special uh, dish here, which is their taro or kwai lang. Mmm, very nice. Taro type texture. It's mushy. It's, yeah, mushy but delicious. That sums it up. It's like a mushy fry. Overall, I'd give this meal a 8.2 out of 10. How about you? And I give it a 9.8. 9.8? Whoa! <laughs> well, why, why not a 10? I feel like I can't give it a 10. It's just like 10 is like the ultimate. If I gave it a 10, it'd just be uh, kind of too high. But I think they won me over with those potatoes. Yeah, they're those potatoes. 
8 out of 10. Alright guys, just arrived at the coffee house. Got an Americano coffee. And this is a quiet coffee shop, that's why I'm trying to talk quietly. Now I've got to continue editing the daily vlog. Alright guys, we just had a good work session. Well I did anyway, how was your session? Productive? It was good, but I'm tired now. <laughs> and uh, now we got bicycles. I'm gonna challenge Ben up to a bicycle ride. I challenge you a race to Dragon Bridge. Right, let's do it. You accept it. I accept it. But I haven't ridden a bicycle in a long time. And, and I believe Ben's bicycle is better. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. So. Okay, but let's see who wins this race. Let's see. Alright guys, if Ben wins this race, you have to give the video a thumbs up, alright? I, I don't already know who's won. Let the challenge begin. This is a fierce race so far. Taking the lead. <laughs> Tour to de Tanang. Tour de Tanang. Tour de Tanang. Hey, yeah, this bike's actually pretty good yeah, so not, far. It's not too bad. Yeah. It just has problems when you change gears. Okay, I'm not going to change gears then. Alright guys, so our final destination Dragon is Bridge. up ahead, the Dragon Bridge. It's currently neck and neck. Who's gonna win? It's a red light, should we go through it? <laughs> oh. we're, we're going through the red light just to try to win this race. No obstacles. The pace is picking up and I'm, I'm going ahead. Overtaking the motorbike. Oh! Ben's taking over the lead. The underdog has got to come back. Underdog. Oh my gosh. It's, it's back to neck and neck. Should we go through this red light? <laughs> He's using the aerodynamic technique. <laughs> Ooh, okay, this is it. This is it. It's going to say three, two, one. <laughs> I think the mouth of the dragon. I think that'd be more epic because yeah. going over the bridge is very slow and I mean you can make like a false sense of, dr of drama out of it I guess. I mean the mouth on the other side. Oh you want to make the, the race from the mouth to the tail? I don't know like from here until the other side where the fire comes out. Can we do that? Okay. Yeah. Alright we're heading towards the end of the race. We finish at the mouth of the dragon. We have about a thousand other competitors, competitors here but they're all on motorbikes. Let's see if we can beat them. Where is Ben? He's right there. Let's go. Stay on, stay on mask. Try and overtake some motorbikes. This race is busier than I expected. I it too. Oh, yeah. Maybe I'm gonna try holding to a motorbike, get a boost. I'm impressed you're playing up here one-handed. <laughs> <laughs> She's doing quite well for your first move by in a while. Oh, thank you from all our leg days. Alright, the mouth of the dragon is up there. Our, our finishing point. Let's go full speed ahead. Oh, guys, I, I don't think I can keep up. It's too fast. Uh, I'm trying. Come on. Oh. Okay. Looks like Ben wins. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, how do you feel? I feel good. You, you won the race. You're going fast though. Oh, thanks. Alright, another red light. Let's go. We're ruthless on the bicycles. Oh. Maybe a bad idea. <laughs> yes. Uh. We have a new road. Right, so you, you won the race. What's your winning speech? Never. Never stop Never. believing in yourself. Ah, don't stop believing. <laughs> the epic slow motion. Okay, this is in slow motion.
Alright guys, so for some reason I recorded the ending of this video already but the video didn't work properly. It says it's in the wrong format or something. I think my phone ran out of space. Anyway, I was talking about how I mentioned earlier, earlier in this video how I sold my motorbike. So the reason I sold it was because I was actually thinking of leaving Vietnam on a flight tomorrow and I planned for it. It's got to be quite a quick, a bit of a rush. But then anyway, I found out that my passport had already been sent for my visa to be extended. So I couldn't get the flight. But as I talk about in some of my other videos, I decided to give it a positive meaning and believe that everything happens for a reason. When you give things a positive meaning, you get a positive effect out. So I said, this is happening for a positive meaning. This is happening for, for my benefit. And I believe it has already worked out that way. Because if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have rode the bicycle today, which uh, Ben let me borrow. So thank you, Ben, for letting me borrow your bike. If you're watching this, it was really fun. That race was awesome. I think it provides some good video content. So give things a positive meaning and get a positive effect out. And I'm going to be riding the bicycle around more, so you'll be seeing more bicycle vlogs. Lots of construction going on around here, by the way. Right guys, so it's quite funny. I put the camera down to walk away. People watching me just walk away from the camera. Must look quite strange. Anyway, I'm walking now because there's still some lights left. So I wanted to finish the video before the light completely goes away. <laughs> so funny. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. These things really help support the channel, make sure the videos get out there more. So thank you guys all for the support. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe and click the bell so you, so you get notified for new videos and I will see you guys next time.